Hi guys, I'm Ina Back Iverson for the Red Carpet Report and today we are here for Project Angel Food who are celebrating the 25th Angel Awards. So first of all I have to ask you, what does this organization mean to you? Well, I've been a part of Project Angel Food for many, many, many years and tonight is about the Angel Awards, celebrating those angels that basically I always say give people the wings to take flight and tonight we're celebrating Marion Williamson and this is her baby. So it's just appropriate that tonight we're celebrating her. When did you join the organization? I've been a part of Project Angel Food for many, many years. They did something many years ago called Divine Design. And under the direction of Patty Fox, they would reach out to all the different designers, furniture, lifestyle, clothing, and we would do a big boutique every holiday season and raise money. And each night it would be First night's 50% off, 60% off, 70% off, and you kept getting all these great discounts on major, major top designer clothing or furniture, and every $5 fed a warm meal to a man, woman, or child struggling with a terminal illness. That's amazing. So it's fashion and function at its finest, you know? How important do you think it is that celebrities and people that has like a, a voice in our society shines light on organizations like this? I think there's so many different organizations right now raising money for people that are in need. So if you can lend your name and your time and show up, it does put a face with the event. Also, people listen to people they know, so it's like a friend talking to them. Yeah. And you choose your battles and you choose where you want to go. And when I say the word battle, it's because we are trying to fight to end HIV AIDS. How, how do you think we will be able to do it? What can we do? Communicate. Number one, communicate, and that's communicate with your partner. Before you have sex with anyone, unless you're in a monogamous relationship, ask the question, have you been tested and when was the last time you were tested? A lot of people don't do it, but if you don't take care of yourself first, how can you, how can you love somebody else? Love yourself first. It is the toughest question to ask. Yeah. But for you to say to somebody else, have you been tested? When was the last time you got your results? What is your status? Then first of all, you're telling somebody else that you care about yourself, you care about them, and then with the proper information, you can then take the next step. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that there's still kind of uh, a little bit of shame feeling over that when, when it comes to sexuality? Is that something that people still is a little bit embarrassed to talk about? I think sex is always something people get uncomfortable to talk about. And think about it, for somebody to ask somebody else, what your status is to come back and say positive. I don't know if I would use the word shame. I think it's just another layer. HIV AIDS is not a death sentence anymore. Doctors are working around the clock to find cures, vaccines. There's so many different steps that have been taken right now to ensure longer lives. Choose yourself first. Just don't be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> don't be stupid. It's, 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 it's a choice that you make that will change your life forever. Yeah. Don't be stupid. And our youth right now, they feel that they're invincible. Don't be stupid. Choose yourself first. You're not invincible. Use the right head. You're not invincible. Yeah. Well, well, a lot of people talk using the other head. And you're stupid. Don't be stupid. Exactly. What more are you doing uh, these days? Oh, right. Well, I do all the makeovers for Kelly and Michael. I'm on Entertainment Tonight Extra. And right now coming up, we have the Primetime Emmy Awards. So I'll be on the red carpet talking about and celebrating who's wearing what yes. and only talking about the good. Almost, yes. <laughs> Every now and then I would probably say I would have made another choice. Yeah, well, we have to. That's yes. Valid. And speaking of choices, what a great choice. Thank you. Great choice. <laughs> have a good night. Pleasure. Nice to meet Beautiful you. Beautiful woman. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interviews. And also leave me a comment in the comment box. What's your favorite charity?